Now here at home, the shooting of course brings up painful memories. Just 10 years ago, Virginia Tech was the scene of the deadliest school shooting in American history. And one of the 32 lives lost was a Giles County man. 10 News reporter Rachel Lucas joins us in the studio now. And Rachel, you spoke to Jarrett Lane's mother today about what it's like to see these tragedies continue to happen across the country. Well, sadly, this shooting is one of hundreds like it that have happened since Virginia Tech, a day no one here in our area will forget, especially for Tracy Lane, who lost her son. Jarrett was the Narrows High School valid Victorian and was a senior at Virginia Tech when he was killed in 2007, only a few weeks away from graduation. And Tracy told me today on a phone conversation that the hardest part for her is knowing that nothing has changed. Lane says she expected more legislation to tighten gun laws and prevent the sale of guns to people who shouldn't have them. She also says enough isn't being done to address mental health issues for both children and adults and that it's going to take a compromise from both sides of the political aisle to make a meaningful change. She says she's angry and frustrated. When is the time going to be? How many more of these shootings do we have to have for people to want to actually to do something? Now, now is the time. We can't wait. They're happening more and more frequently to a point where people just get numb. And she wants to remind everyone that those who have been killed are people with families. They're not just statistics. She had a lot more to say, and I've posted our full interview online at WSLS.com. In studio, Rachel Lucas, 10 News, working for you.